Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel page. Today I'm gonna so uh, talk about IPv6, its benefits, why and when we need IPv6. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys method that you guys can use to um, can use to determine if your network has the IPv6 or not. So let's dive into it. So basically, what is the IPv6? The IPv6 or the IP person 6 is the net internet protocol generation that will be replaced the IPv4 in the next coming years. <coughs> so the IPv6 has 128 bit long and it brightened in as a decimal digit. So I can see here this is the binary of the IPv6. You can see a lot of um, zero zero and one here a long number of it so the, <coughs> so the first 64 bit will represent for the network and then the last 64 bit will represent for the host so basically the host is something is something similar to our um, Twitch name for example I live in Northeast Baltimore and and you can see here um, no, it bought away so every house is, uh, on the street will be have our same network so the only difference is the host the host number so I mean every house has its own you know number so I live in you know, it bought away and my house number is 8700 so that will be my heart and you can see here in the middle of the page you can see the example of the IPv6 so it has a group each group has six uh, has sitting bits and is separated by the column so for convenient for convenient people uh, we can um, there's some rule that apply to the IPv6 that to make it uh, you know uh, simple and easier to write out so the first rule will be every leading zero in each group can be checked out so um, that means that every single zero here we can see the second group here and this group here uh, had uh, this the second group have one zero and the seven group had two zero we can check it up but remember that if you check out the zero we have to check both every group out I mean every group had a little so should be checked out instead of such one for example we have two one zero one and then D B eight blah 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 and then 42 we cannot just check one this one or uh, the second group out and leave the zero in the eight, seven group it's not correct we have to take all of it out so the second rule would be every consecutive group of zero can be checked out and replay it, replay it by the uh, the book column so very easy here is two zero zero one and then dba we have three consecutive zero here, group zero here, we can take it out and we'll play it by the book column here. Um, and then we can, uh, you can see here, we can take it out by, by the double uh, zero here, uh, the book column here. And then, and then after that, um, Remember that so only the both column E in one IB, IBBC, no other IBBC, uh, no other double column will be accepted in here. So let's talk about the benefit of the IBBC. So, so for benefit of the IBBC, it is provide more than enough IBBC for every device on earth, uh, for every device. So it has one eight hundred and forty billion billion addresses, which is enough IP a public IP address for every single rent on Earth, which is crazy. Uh, the second benefit of the IPv6 would be no more net network generation and port address generation. It means like we don't need to combine a lot of addresses into one single public IP address. Um, you know, it to save the resources of the IPv4 in IPv6, we have a lot of IP, public IP address, so every single device has it on public IP address. So the third uh, benefit of the IPv6 is state uh, state auto configuration. So 
this is one of the most important features that the IPv6 offer. It allow various devices, many devices on the IPv6, uh, connect to the internet without you know acting intermediate uh, IP address from the XCB server. It means that we don't have to configure our you know machine to you know to get IP from the the, the XCB servers. So the last um, benefits of the IPv6 is the transition tool. IPv6 has a lot of useful tools to help with the transition from the IPv4 to IPv6, including NAT and tunnel. So the tunnel encapsulates the IPv6 packet into the IPv4 packet, so it can be delivered to the uh, to the um, IPv4 network only, which is awesome. And then let's talk about why and where we need the IPv6. This is a very common question that IPv4 ask themselves. Or you know, we can see here we have two car, 1996 and then 2016 car, which represent for the IPv6 and IPv4. So why do I have to you know give up my uh, IPv4 uh, 1996 Mustang and buy a new car? So why? So the reason is. The night uh, the 2016 Mustang have a lot of feature, good update, will help me to you know sm drive safely and secure in the road. So back to the IPv6 and IPv4, uh, the Ethernet cannot sustain itself with uh, with the IPv4. It cannot cannot grow and evolve without more address. So more and more device will be available, and it needs an IP address. So when the IPv4 reach its maximum number of address, it will be uh, experienced from performance and availability problem. So I mean, it is our choice to decide what uh, when we need to migrate to the IPv6, but don't wait until it's too late. It's time for us to think about it and do it right now instead of just waiting. Okay. So. Now let me um, show you the way that I uh, know if my network connection had the IPv6 or not. So basically, just to go in, type Google and then um, type in IPv6 stats. So deep inside, we tap our uh, uh, IPv6 connection. If it has the IPv6 connection, will say support it, and if it don't, it will say no. So there are some, you know, um, network had both both have because it of IPv6 and IPv4 so it my network it only have the IPv4 we don't have the IPv6 and the second method will be using the command from have command from here and then type IP config here we go we have on everything we need here so I don't have the IPv6 Okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. If you guys like, give me the thumbs up. If you guys have any questions for me, give me a comment below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.